Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Fantasy World Building. I'm Alda, and hopefully you saw it was a fairly productive little mining expedition. Didn't get a huge amount of stuff, but, you know, for a um, sort of first mining expedition, I think we did all right. Now, I mentioned last episode, there you go, that I wasn't sure really where we should start set up shop. Well, oops. I think I have more or less decided where we're going to start. And this right here is the answer. You see, these two fruit trees are one of the only reliable sources of food in this area. At least reliable constant sources of food. As you can see, it's not much, but it's definitely better than starving. It's more than the deserts got. It's more than the crystal biomes got. And we're not in the mountains far enough to have to deal with dragons. So as much as I've kept been trying to move out of this area, um, yeah, I'm, we're pretty much, I don't want to say stuck in this area because we're not, certainly not permanently stuck, but for the time being, this is, this is kind of where we need to stay. What am I looking for? This. I want to make a saw. There is indeed a copper one. Cool. Oops. Oh, nice. That has a good amount of durability to it. But yes, basically, we're planting ourselves right here. It's a, it's, a, to be honest, I'm not even entirely sure why I keep trying to move out of right here because it's a, it's not a bad little location. Like I say, there's the food, there's water, I mean, not much, admittedly, but there is the um, the lake or river over there. And also these, we can use the juicer to make these into juice and that gives hydration as well, which is fantastic. Plus there's a nice little cave entrance here. So without further ado, sun is setting, but we don't have a huge amount of resources. But, and this is not the most ideal location ever, but I'm going to be honest. I've been itching to build something. And if we're going to build something wonder how many times I can run through the inventory without getting what I need. Um, if, if we're going to build something now, I think now is the time. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to build a house. And I'm also, I think, going to try and um, do a little time-lapsey thingy. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and roll that.
Okay, so, not exactly a time lapse, but, eh, I, to be honest, I'm not even sure what you would call that. Like, it's not a time lapse, it's a, I'm not sure, honestly. Either way, there it was. And as you probably saw, if you were paying attention, uh, I went through a couple of different iterations. Well, two mainly. First thing I want to say here is, wow, it's cold out. Um, this out, outside, the exterior bit here, I am not super happy with. Uh, but the thatch is kind of a pain in the butt to get at the moment, and I don't have I don't have shears which are needed to actually be able to pick it back up again. I assume it's shears because none of my tools will work so that's there for now at least but the general idea let me let me just kind of walk you through what what the intended like design philosophy I guess you could say is for this place for these these houses basically this area I mean, we're still technically in the mountains. And dragons. Dragons are a problem. So, basically, the way I see it is you have sort of two general... I'm going to go ahead and just kind of come in here while I talk. Two general ways of dealing with dragons. You have the, like, sort of direct way of dealing with dragons which is like building a some kind of defensive fortification obviously i'm talking about like structures in dragon threatened areas i'm not talking about like going out and hunting them that's kind of you know a different question but the other sort of basic way of dealing with dragons other than like building a castle is well basically the way I see it is sort of stay out of the way S uh, make something that either the dragon can't easily burn down or if it does burn it down like it's no big deal and for like you know just general normal people who don't have a castle can't build a castle or just like building a castle is a fairly significant undertaking stone like working with that amount of stone it takes a long time it's a lot of work so even if the people in this region do build castles it's not going to be everyone and i imagine it's probably more economical to like have a castle, like one or two castles in like the general area. So if a dragon attacks, you can either run to the like centralized fortress or you can use one of these. And the basic idea here is if the exterior gets burned down or crushed or whatever like this is no big deal who cares the actual valuables and you know people probably would be down in here and that's the the sort of basic premise behind this build um i was partially inspired by the city of Matera in Italy, 
which has houses that are dug out of the living rock like this. Uh, it's not like a replica by any means. Probably want to change that there. But it the, the idea of like digging into like the solid rock like this is is part of the reason I used that as inspiration because the idea here is at least hopefully if a dragon you know is flying around rampaging breathing fire on stuff this will just get destroyed and it's no big deal it can be replaced relatively easily down in here this should I hope protect if like fire gets spewed straight in here it'll just kind of fill up this space fill up this space and hopefully go up the chimney that's the sort of basic idea behind this entrance here and then you know you would have um, I, I think I'm going to put like what was the mod rustic yeah some rustic furniture this sort of stuff it's kind of cool I think it kind of fits the theme let's see real quick yeah it could work I suppose but yeah basically this is sort of the living area and and storage area I plan to either kind of that way or that way make a bedroom or two maybe um, and this is just just kind of the interior house and then you know out here would be probably you know anything basically anything that's either really easy to pick up and move at, at, as a dragon is attacking you know you grab whatever it is you run inside and you're protected with your valuables or anything that you don't care about losing so it's a sort of dragon cellar slash house you know the idea being that you and your family members and your valuables and such are protected and then anyone anyone who's helping defend against the dragons might rush off to the fortress or what have you there we go you oh I like these chairs these are nice chairs oh yes very nice but yeah that's sort of what we've got going here um i on on eh, yeah that on, on further thought i think it might be uh, safer if this entrance was not here and the fireplace rather than here it was here filling these three blocks and then going up so that any any fire that actually because you know you it, you would think that if a dragon like actually breathed fire directly at this entrance you're gonna get a stream of very hot air and you know fire however these dragons breathe fire it would hit here fill up this area and then go whoosh through here so with this design it can easily kind of spill out spill out not really quite go up the chimney but if the chimney is there if the fireplace is there and the chimney goes straight up the fire would come straight through hit that and more or less want to go up it's hotter than the air in here wouldn't necessarily mix on the threshold here so I think that would make things safer but 
I'm not actually going to change this house because I think, like, the people who've lived here, you know, probably have gone through various iterations of the idea of defense against dragons. So I think it makes sense that we have this one here that's kind of, it has the idea, but it's maybe not as safe as other houses that we'll build later. Another thing is probably want similar but slightly differently designed houses for our livestock. Like I, I would imagine if you if you keep livestock and keep them in a barn like structure that's underground like this and they get used to it being you know the safe space then dragons attack they probably would kind of naturally be inclined to run in into safety so you might not even have to like manually go out and corral them on a dragon attack which would definitely be beneficial but yeah there it is the first hopefully the first of many um, I think, obviously I want to make some more of these, uh, probably going up the hill there and across over there. Not sure how far up the mountain we want to go. Obviously we'll want roads connecting them. The one, the one thing that I'm kind of not concerned about, but something to keep in mind is the fact that the river is there. Now this this I I do plan to terraform have like maybe a mountain spring coming out of somewhere up there and then spilling out in that direction. But this here, we have to remember, is the I mean it's a desert biome in game, but lore wise we're gonna have to figure out what to do here and I think I haven't decided like officially but I'm I'm starting to lean towards the idea of it being uh, basically something nether related I don't know if we want to make it like just just simply nether themed or if we want to make like maybe a a large portal somewhere in the center that has destabilized and the nether kind of exploded out maybe something like that I don't know I'm just kind of throwing out ideas at the moment but I'm kind of leaning in that sort of direction for this this desert obviously we can do different things in different deserts it doesn't have to be the same thing just all of the white sands that spawned in the temperate regions I, I think we should terraform in some way to not be white sands deserts and obviously as we get further built up we can do more of that sort of thing but anyway there's the house and that's gonna do it for this episode um, I was looking through things earlier and I think what I want to do is get started in roots this thing here that's why I've got some ink sacks I went and killed a couple squid so I think we'll get started with that next episode and see how things go uh, one more thing before before I close off I just if I don't know how many people are actually going to watch this series, but if anyone watches this, I just want to let you know, I'm thinking I'm going to move, or not move, but kind of start doing these episodes more or less once a week, one episode a week. Um, they are, I mean, it's Minecraft. Minecraft is fairly time consuming. If you want to, you know, do anything of any significant scale. So basically, probably going to be once a week or so. But either way, 
if there is anyone who's watching this and enjoying this in any way, thank you for watching. Honestly, I I know there are a lot of definitely much better Minecraft YouTubers. I watch many of them. I know you have a lot of better options. So if anyone is watching this, thank you for watching. And I will see you hopefully next episode where, as I said, we're going to start getting into roots. Uh, maybe we'll build another house. Maybe we'll build a little road. Don't know. We'll have to see. But either way, see you next time. Thank you for watching. I'm just repeating myself at this time. Goodbye. Farewell. Take care.